This is Zhiyun Smooth Q2. Really awesome gimbal for your mobile phone. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun episode. Jun sent me this pre-production model of a Smooth Q2 for a test and review. And just a disclaimer, they didn't pay me to say anything. This is not a sponsored video and everything that I say in this video is my own opinion based on uh, 10 days of playing and testing with this cute small phone gimbal. So now that we cover that, let's continue with this episode. I will spoil you everything straight from the start. I really love this piece of tech and this is probably my favorite phone gimbal. So let's start with the build quality. This gimbal is completely made out of the metal which is awesome because these days phone gimbals are usually completely made out of the plastic and this one has also a rubberized grip so it's really pleasant to hold it and really comfortable to use it. The motors are pretty strong so there are no problem even using some lenses if you have on your phone etc so it's really breeze to play and operate with this gimbal. It has only one downside, which I will talk about that a bit later, but otherwise I really love it. On the front side, we have a joystick, we have record, start and stop recording button and power on and off button and just some four modes that are listed here, but actually there is a fifth hidden mode. I will talk about that really soon. And that's it, really simple, easy to use. And on the right side, you have USB-C type connector to charge your gimbal. And also you can use this gimbal as a power bank. So if your phone is out of juice, you can just plug your phone inside and charge it. Because the battery on this thing is awesome. It will last for 16 hours. So whole day of filming, no problem at all. And because of that, you can even film with this and charge your phone and enjoy the day with this really huge battery inside. There is another really cool innovative engineering in this gimbal and that's the detachable phone holder. So you can detach this phone holder and this is again completely made out of the metal and it's really really practical because I'll show you right now. So you can mount your phone first and to mount your phone you need to unlock the gimbal. It has some kind of a locking mechanism so it will snap it will just snap like the magnet is pulling it's some kind of uh, magnet feeling i don't know what is it actually maybe it's not a magnet but it's really nice so uh, also there are no tripod uh, with the gimbal because gimbal is pretty nice and uh, stable and decently heavy so it will not fall if you don't have a tripod and to mount your phone you just need to use your phone unlock this put a phone inside and that's it and just balance it quickly so something Something like this is cool. You don't want to go on one side too much, so a bit more. And we are almost there. So you don't need to balance it like perfectly, perfectly, but this is, this is perfectly. All right, and uh, then you just need to press and hold power on button for a few seconds and the gimbal will, as you can see, power on and it's ready to use. So before I go into some modes and how is uh, stabilizing the footage. Let me show you the phone holder thing. So why is this really practical? Because you can film something with the gimbal and then you want to send some kind of message, maybe do a phone call, you just need to unlock this and pull out the phone and then you have this, do some messages, make a phone call and when you're done you can just go and plug it back in, lock it, and turn it on and you're ready to go. You don't need to rebalance it, you don't need to play with this again, so you will see like that. It's on and that's it, you can go and film it. And now that I mentioned filming, you will really enjoy to film with this gimbal because it's so easy and fun to play with it. There are four different modes, actually five different modes on this gimbal. Fifth is kind of hidden because on the front side you have listed only four modes. And to scroll through these modes, you just need to press joystick once and it will go from first to second to third etc. If you want to go back you don't need to go all around to circle it you can just double tap the joystick and if you go to a previous mode. So the first mode is pan follow mode so that means that the gimbal will follow your pan movement left and right and all other movements will be locked and it's really easy and simple to work with the gimbal in this mode. The next mode is a lock mode, so that means that all the axes will be locked, all movements, no matter in which direction you move the gimbal, 
the phone will stay in the place. Another cool mode. Then the third mode is follow mode. So that's my favorite mode because it will follow up and down and left and right movements. And with this mode, you can really easily follow your subject wherever he go, however he moves. Really awesome mode and really fun to work with. The fourth mode is a POV point of view mode. And here you can still move your phone up, down, left and right, but also you can tilt it. Your phone will follow your tilt movements. And in this mode, you can be really creative. So just play with it, explore it, and you can do some really cool and interesting shots using this mode. And now there is a fifth kind of a hidden mode. If you press the joystick one more time, you will go into this flashlight position with the gimbal. And here you can do some inception shots. So you can rotate no matter in the left or right side, which side you choose. You can do some really cool inception shots. And if you press it one more time, you will go back to a first mode to a pan follow mode. But you can see now the phone is still in this flashlight position. And there is one cool trick to uh, reset your phone to default position. You just need to double press the power on off button and the phone will go back to default position. So wherever you are facing, however you're facing your phone, for example, a little, little bit up or maybe a little bit down if you move it to joystick, etc. If you want to go to default position, just double tap the power on off button and that's it. And there is another trick. If you triple tap power on off button, you will go to selfie mode. So now you can go and film yourself using a back camera. If you're up to that, that's an option too. Again, triple tip, uh, triple tap to power button and you will go back to regular mode. Also, you can go with your front facing camera and do some selfie modes like that too. Okay, now let's talk about that one downside that I have with this gimbal. See this motor right here? Well, if you're using the phones with a wider camera lens, this motor will be in the frame and that's a bummer. But fortunately, there is a fix for that. All you need to do is just to tilt your gimbal a little bit so the motor will go out of the frame and you can just film it like this, no problem at all. Also, if you go to a full flashlight mode, you don't need to worry about the motor for sure. With my iPhone 7 Plus, I don't have any issues. So my camera cannot see the motor at all, both cameras, so no problem at all. I can film like this. But for example, with my Samsung Galaxy S9, I can see the motor. So with this phone, I need to film it in this position. So just for you to know that if you're having a wider camera lens and you can see the motor, this is a fix for that. It's not a big downside, but it's there. All right. So otherwise, except that I really love this gimbal. There is nothing else to complain with it. And also there are a few other modes. So if you want to go portrait mode, you just need to tilt it like that. It will go to a portrait mode. Also to underslung mode, go one more time and you can just film it like this, some down shots, really easy, really useful, perfect to do it. So you can go back to portrait or go back to full regular mode. All right, guys, so that's basically it for today. My final conclusion is that I really love this gimbal. This is probably my favorite phone gimbal until today. I really love it. This gimbal will push you to film even more because it's so great feeling to work with it. I cannot explain you this. You need to just try to understand. It's really nice, fun to use, easy to use really comfortable to handle it and it's almost pocket size so it's small and you can pack it in any bag that you want. Also the battery is huge 16 hours also you can use it as a power bank. Great modes as I already explained so that's cool. Also guys this is a pre-production model even the box comes completely unbranded white box inside you have a manual in Chinese and the one USB Type-C cable for charging and uh, there is no tripod because this gimbal will stand by itself like this, no problem at all, it will not fall, so this is cool. And also, there is no app ready for this gimbal yet because it's still in pre-production, but I can't wait to try this gimbal with the app and with the object tracking feature and maybe some panorama features, etc. They're doing their Kickstarter campaign, so Jean is doing Kickstarter campaign, you can follow the link down there in the description, check it out, you can even pre-order there. Right guys, so that's it for today. In case you have any questions regarding to this gimbal, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be more than glad to answer it. And also, if you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, press that like button, share it to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already, and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye-bye.